Hey guys, it's Nancy Pixel Picks, and um, so my request is that I redo my tuning video, but with my flute. So I brought my flute home, and uh, it's really weird. I had to get used to it. Actually, I was going to do this last night, but I had to get used to it from the tiny little piccolo. Have my fingers all scrunched up, and like barely, like it's tiny, like it's like that thin to having that thin <laughs> and having my fingers actually have spaces so it was really hard like when I first blew it I couldn't get out and it was quite embarrassing but I got it now and yeah so tuning a flute if you seen if you saw my tuning a piccolo and not to the flute, but it's just different sound. Which is why I guess I'm gonna make this because it's a different sound. Alright, so you don't know how to play the B flat scale. I don't taught you all that. So let's play that okay. Alright, sorry it gave out in the end there. I didn't really try to that from what just did. And um, yeah, B flat scale, let's do arpeggios. I also learned that after playing piccolo for so long, I can hit the fourth octave on this so much easier. I'm losing my grip. Hold on. And that is the high, high fourth octave C. Yeah. It's just really hard. Most people can't hit that at all. But I can, because I just got it. And, um, yeah, so. Let's go on tuning. This is what it sounds like in tune. That is in tune. So let's go out of tune. It was that one should have been flat because if you look you can see my line and you see it's pulled out behind the line. So let's go sharp. <laughs> Here that was higher. Sharp is short. So pull that. Alright, now if you have your own flute you can do this. If you don't, well, I suggest doing it in pencil. <laughs> we were asking about it, but draw a line when you have it like professionally done in class. Draw a line, and then you can just slide it into that line, or use sharpie or whatever floats your boat. Like, hold on, I'm gonna show you this too. It's funny. I can see multiple lines that I've drawn. There's one there. There's another one right below this. Another one there. There's, that one's really faint. I don't know if you see it. There's one there. There's like eight lines on here. Because it constantly changes. And so, it's really weird. Alright, and I'm pretty sure I did um, blowing a note weird. Alright, so let's go rolling in too much. I should make it sharper. Alright, so my mouth is slightly up on it, or I'm invading the hole. 
Alright, notice how it made that weird, awkward, squeaky noise. Yeah, foods aren't supposed to squeak. It's only squeaking because your lips are way too far up. Alright, so now I'm going to go below the hoe. Basically, that one was really hard to keep a constant note out. If you have problems keeping a note out, check your armature position. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, any other stuff you want me to do on flute? Yeah, any other stuff you need me to do on flute? I'll be happy to do. But I prefer to close since it's big fix. But you know, either way, I'll help you. Helping is helping, and yeah. And of course, my songs. Love ya. Mwah.